number of people who watched David's Desert Files video about the guy who um, put forth the question which came first, the chicken or the egg, made a point of telling David or whoever they were commenting to that surely there's no issue here. The egg came much earlier than the chicken and, you know, animals have been laying eggs for millions and millions of years before chickens ever evolved. And those people are completely missing the point. Even the point that David himself is making in his video. You see, the mistake that the person who posted the chicken and egg video makes is not based on a misconception of not understanding that there have been animals all along that were laying eggs long before there were chickens. Because the guy is making a mistake even if he very specifically says what came first, a chicken egg or a chicken. You see, the problem is that anybody who thinks that in evolution there would ever be a first anything has not understood the concept of what evolution actually is. There is no such thing in evolution as a first chicken. And that is what an awful lot of people get very confused about. They are picturing this strange misconstruction of evolution where in order for there to be chickens at some point in the evolutionary past there was something and people try to explain evolution like this to people at some point in the distance past there was something that was not quite a chicken and it laid an egg out of which came a chicken no that is not how evolution works. There is no such thing as a first chicken. The whole problem is caused by the concept of chicken. This is a conceptual problem that we human beings have. Of course, if you look around in the world today and you look at living creatures, it is very easy to say, well, that is a chicken and that isn't a chicken. And the two are clearly distinct from each other. So you've got chickens and not chickens. But add evolutionary time to the picture and it all goes out the window. There is no such thing as a chicken in deep evolutionary time. Because you can rest assured that if today you started breeding chickens you would, and David says this in his video, and this is just going whoops over people's heads. If you were today starting to breed chickens, you would see that every one of them who lays an egg and every chick that hatches out of such an egg would be a chicken. There is no doubt about it. Out of chicken eggs will forever only ever hatch chickens. But now try and picture this as a deep time experiment. You start this thing. You start having a pen full of chickens. They lay eggs out of which of course hatch chickens. They lay eggs. They hatch chickens and so on and so forth for the rest of your life. And after you die somebody else takes over the experiment and they continue observing the chickens laying eggs out of which come chickens and this goes on for generation after generation after generation and they all take notes they all take notes and they say we are going to write down every time a chick hatch hatches out of an egg whether that chick is not a chicken and lo and behold every scientist hundreds, thousands, millions of generations down this experiment, every time they write down, the chicken laid an egg 
out of which hatched a chicken. So, can evolution not happen then? No, and that is the thing that you need to understand. That is a mistake. Evolution is happening. Because imagine if you started this experiment and you got yourself cryogenically frozen and now a couple of million years down the line you were defrosted and you were introduced to your descendant the scientist of whatever generation who is at that point in time continuing your experiment and you meet that scientist and you say how is it going and he's telling you it's not going well you know we've been observing this now for a million two million years and all our ancestors have been observing it they've all written down and at no point ever did a chicken lay an egg out of which hatched anything other than a chicken evolution has been proven wrong and you go oh my god what's going on let's have a look at these chickens and they take you to the chicken pen and you look into the chicken pen in utter amazement and you turn around to the other guy and say what are you on about evolution isn't happening I don't know what you think those things are but I can tell you they aren't chickens and if you can get your head around what's going on there then you have understood evolution so we might laugh at this idiot who thinks that posing the chicken and egg question is a clever way of refuting evolution. But if you don't understand that, then you haven't understood evolution either.